guys, what's up? It's Angelina and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I make college and lifestyle videos, so don't forget to subscribe. So I'm back with something that I think a lot of you guys have been super into on my channel. It's my phlebotomy series. A lot of you guys have been obsessed with this and you know, I get it. It's really hard to find like good information on YouTube when it comes to this topic. So if you're new here and you're interested, I have a playlist already. I take you guys with me to clinicals. I also uh, just took you along with my journey in my phlebotomy course in general, like what I did in class, when I was going to class. I pretty much vlogged the entire experience. So if you haven't seen any of those videos, I will leave it linked in the card so you can watch it and I'll have it in the description box as well. But today we are on to the next and almost final step. This is my phlebotomy certification exam. So my exam is actually in a couple days and I'm sitting down and telling you guys how I'm going to study my plans and also vlog me studying and I will check in with you guys when I'm done taking my actual exam. Okay, if you guys don't know, I actually went to clinicals probably like a couple months ago at this point, which is actually a little bit of a disadvantage because I felt like in clinicals I learned a lot and I was just retaining information from just performing instead of sitting down and taking notes from the powerpoints and reading the book it's actually a lot easier hands-on so i felt like i knew everything and i was just doing so great well it's been a couple months since then and now i'm getting ready to take my state certification and i obviously have to revisit things it's been a minute since i've actually had any hands-on experience so you know just trying to like remember things and like refresh my brain and is the blood collection um this is the book that we were given when we actually were in uh the class this came as a part of my tuition cost and it's pretty much what we used in class it also had um powerpoints that go along with the book and it's the basic information it is literally everything you need to know some things that i like about this is that it actually has like diagrams and pictures at a point where you um are past the clinicals or maybe you didn't get to do clinicals or your course was just super fast or something it's nice that this has like pictures and demonstrations to kind of like refresh your brain so i'm planning to use this for a majority of my studying now I'm not someone who can just read the book and like know everything. I just know how I am and that is not it. So I actually have PowerPoints that we got in class that I'm planning on using. And then I also made my own study guides, which I 10 out of 10 recommend just because when you make your own study guides, you are looking at the information again and you're kind of like memorizing it as you type it or as you write it. This is what I did. I pretty much um took some practice questions that i found online and then also just some questions from like our exams that we did in class and i put it on this little sheet it is so much easier this way because the answers the correct answers are in bold so actually i think this is just a really smart way just for someone like me because i think i learned the best with this method if you're wondering where i got these I use Quizlet and I recommend everyone and their mom use Quizlet for anything. The actual course itself right before we do the state certification because you needed to pass the course as well as the state certification. And I got like a 90 something on my final exam for the actual like schooling part. So I had already made a Quizlet from that. So I decided to just print them out and I printed it out in the flashcard or yeah, I printed it out in the table setting, which I like better because it has the question on the left side and then the answer on the right column. And I usually just cut them out like horizontally and then I staple them together. So it's like a flashcard, if that makes sense. So this one says serum or plasma that has a white milky appearance is referred to as blank, which would be uh, like Pemmic. These are really helpful. They're kind of like a little ghetto if I do say so myself, but it's quick, especially because I'm not rewriting things and I'm not taking my time to write note cards. I'm just printing them out from the computer. So something that I have issues remembering is definitely the order of draw. And the order of draw is just always so confusing for me. What does the tube color 
correlate with it has edta like you know that stuff really confuses me so that's something that um i'm gonna study a lot more the organizations like osha and stuff like that so that i definitely need a reminder of but i feel like once you know that information you're good overall i'm only giving myself three days to study definitely subjective i think if you feel like you need a lot more time to study then do that but i don't think that the material is that hard and it just has never been that difficult for me so i'm only giving myself three days um like today i spent most of the time making study guides and doing note cards tomorrow i'm just going to be reviewing all day and then on saturday is actually when my exam is and it's at 3 30 so that whole morning i'm just going to review so i'm not really giving myself three full days it's more like two and a half but you get it okay so that is pretty much my like material and the method that i'm going to go about this i will definitely have more vlog footage in this and i will come back to you and let you guys know my score and how i did and stuff and just kind of you know like i said mistakes i made things that i wish i knew more of and whatever so yeah so obviously i just got my results back from my nha exam and i passed i just kind of wanted to update you on like my thoughts during the exam things i wish i would have done or would have known so let's just get into it the exam was 120 questions long um it felt pretty long to be honest i didn't really know if i was going to use all of the allotted time but i actually finished a little bit early so i just think that it was kind of a long time to be sitting down at a desk for it was proctored and i thought that it was going to be proctored through a computer because normally at my university whenever we do anything proctored it's kind of like the computer will proctor you itself um but they actually had a live proctor on the other end who was chatting with me and also wanted to see like my surrounding areas like you know my room the desk i was using um i did take my exam at this desk that i'm sitting on right now which is actually my vanity so i had like you know like my hairspray and like my makeup brushes and some makeup stuff on my vanity because it's a vanity not a desk and she was like oh can you remove everything so i had to like literally remove everything this is happening after it'll do like a program check on your computer so you do that you answer like some questions and then you get to the point where the live proctor is sitting there and like telling you stuff which she the proctor communicates through a little chat box on the bottom of your screen and it was honestly distracting i was already nervous like as it is and then she kind of was nitpicky about like the area i was sitting in and i have nowhere else to sit in my house that really stressed me out and then i started taking my exam and i felt like the questions were actually pretty detailed and in the nha like certification exam there was a lot of like very specific questions and obviously i can't get into it but i will say when you're studying make sure you study things like in depth and in detail but something that i recommend that i kind of did but i didn't really focus on was okay you guys saw i created a quizlet on my own and i did study from that and it was you know slightly helpful obviously because information is information but nha actually has its own study guides and practice exams and i didn't notice until the day of my school actually paid for us to have one set of practice exams and also a study guide and so a couple hours before my test i decided to take a practice exam and i actually didn't take the whole thing um, I believe it was 100 questions each. I took one practice exam, but I took half of it. So I only answered 50 questions. And then I was kind of taking notes on the 50 questions and kind of seeing what I got wrong and what I got right. Actually, that practice exam really helped me. And even though I didn't even finish a full one, I feel like it really helped me because some of the questions and concepts came up on the actual state exam. So I recommend studying through whatever. If you're doing NHA, I know there's another one that some states use, but whatever your state, like whatever program they're using, usually they have practiced uh, tests and they have study guides. So I would recommend using theirs because obviously they're the ones, you know, curating the exam. They're putting the questions on the exam. So you know that they're giving you things to study that's going to be on the exam versus just studying whatever you learned in class or at lab or whatever. If anything, I would go back and I would just probably take more practice exams. I mean, obviously I passed, so I knew 
you know what I was talking about but I think that at the end of the exam I was honestly like confused like I didn't really know if I passed or if I failed I kind of felt like I didn't really know how I did and so I felt like I would have been more confident if I actually spent a lot more time using NHA's study material um, but yeah, that is my experience. Um, like I said, obviously because of COVID, we are testing at home, which makes things a little bit annoying versus being in a testing center because like, for example, the TV's always on in my house. People are always in and out. So it wasn't, a, it wasn't like a quiet environment, which was also stressing me out a little bit. A lot of you guys love my phlebotomy series. And if you haven't seen the whole thing, I will link it. I do plan on you know applying to jobs very soon as soon as um covid dies down i want to apply to jobs and i also just want to start working so i definitely will keep you guys updated on my phlebotomist journey i guess i definitely want to do a phlebotomist day in the life because i think those are interesting and or like come with me to work or um how I prepare for work or like something like that so definitely if you're interested don't forget to stay tuned and if you want to see more from my phlebotomy series definitely let me know in the comments below and by giving this video a thumbs up also subscribe to me and don't forget to turn on your post notifications because I post college and lifestyle related content if you're into that so thanks for watching and thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one